So, Mayor Zarley from Clutch Point Shea. Uh, you hadn't been playing well the last couple of games. Doc touched on how you were one of the keys to really get this team going. Did you have that aggressive mindset from the start? Did you feel like you really needed to, to play better? Uh, yeah, absolutely. Um, and we addressed that in film. Um, and then I had watched film and, and saw the spots where I could take advantage offensively, and, and I tried to do so today. Next question, please. Uh, TBJ of Hoops and Bruza. Shay, when you going out there and you're playing that aggressively in like first halves, how do you feel that energizes the team? Um, personally, I think Pat's the energy of the team. Um, locks us in before um, and at halftime and things like that. Um, and then we just feed off of him uh, as far as defensively. Uh, I feel like as a unit, we're, when we get going defensively, uh, our offense takes care of itself. Pat, at the end of the third quarter, you guys were up by seven. They went on a 23 to 10 run. Describe what happened in that sequence. They made shots. <laughs> Gary George, Inland Valley News. Shay, can you talk about as far as it, Pat, going back to Golden State? How intense is that going to be, knowing that you guys are down at 3-1? to one? How do you inspire yourselves and the rest of your team to come out and to get a victory? I think that we, uh, from the beginning of the season, playoffs, training camp, we self-motivated. Uh, we look at every, every situation, every game is one game at a time. And, uh, you know, it's 3-1. That's the obvious. Everyone knows that. But uh, to us, we just have to win the game and, uh, and, and go from there. Hey, Pat and Shay, Chris from Fantasy Sports Cape. Can you talk about the different element that Jermichael Green brings to you guys in the starting lineup? I just think he's another a, a big that can stretch the floor. Um, you know, Doc did a great job of, uh, you know, making adjustments. And um, as a unit, you know, we were able to switch a little bit more, uh, get stops, run. He can space it. So uh, kind of put him in a bad position, what they wanted to do with Bogut. Uh, you know, we like what we had. And, uh, you know, we'll see how it goes from there. Pat, Pat, you've been one of the veterans, you and Lou, that's really been helping Shea along with this. How impressed were you by what he did tonight? I mean, words really can't really describe, you know, because I see the work every day. I've seen the work since training camp. You know, be, before before he even, you know, stepped in training camp, I watched film of him, you know, with my best friends. And, like, man, this kid will be special. And, you know. You see the grind throughout the year, and he's, he, he embraces it. You know, he, he loves the grind. You know, uh, whether it's up or down, coaches, they own him like they're supposed to be. Sam Cassell, Doc, on him, on him, on him tough. He never folds, very poised, cool under pressure. And, uh, you know, it's, I think that, you know, what you guys seen tonight, despite the loss, uh, what you guys see tonight is starting to make him for sure. Email? Right, thank you. Yo, have a happy Easter to you guys.